Well, I've just remembered I wanted to put this on video and it's uh, I'm already a little way into it. Uh, I, I love doing the eyes so I, they don't give me a lot of problems the eyes really and I, I've just started these, I haven't finished them, I've just started them and uh, I've got a bit more work to do on them but uh, this is what they call a British Blue and uh, I've got a British Blue he's a big softy and the wife loves him me and him are not so big favourites, but uh, he doesn't dislike me, he doesn't, he tolerates me. But he loves the wife. And uh, he's the biggest cat I've ever seen, and my friend thinks so too. <laughs> he's a monster. But uh, he's not as fat as this one. But, uh, I'm not really good at photography, it's something I've tried and I've never been really good at it. I get some some ones I like better than others but basically I'm not a really good photographer. I don't think my heart, if your heart's not in it you're not a good at you're not good at anything. And uh, I think this is my second cat I've done. Uh, the first one I did was rather hard, I didn't finish it, it was uh, I put it on YouTube but it wasn't anything I was really interested in. And by the looks of the hits I've got, nobody else's. <laughs> Which I don't blame. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is the first part of it. So I've just drawn him in and uh, I've got a few lines on there. Just, just out, they're just outlines where his foot is. and There's not much to him, so... I've been having a lot of trouble with the whites. And I think it's because I'm not using really good pastels. You can't put you can't put uh, white on top of blacks and things like this. It's not possible. You need soft. If you're going to try and do that, you need really soft pastels, and they're going to make a mess. So I, I think I'm going to send for some Rembrandt pastels, uh, halves or quarters or whatever they are, just to try them. I know if you buy them, they cost about nearly a hundred pounds if you want the full range of colours which is more than I'm, I'm prepared to pay at the moment. Um, so I'm going to get a, a small box, probably about 15 or 20 pounds worth, and try those, the soft pastels, see if I can make them work. I bought all sorts of white pastel pencils and, uh, not pastel, yeah, pastel, the chalks, and I've tried all sorts, and none of them work properly. They work on the plain paper, but not, not on top of colours. But you've got to put whites down first. Well, you do with pastels, but pastels have got a, a stronger, stronger thing, and I, I think I need a bit, bit better paper. I'll have to prime these papers um, to get what I want as well. I'll gesso them, but I'm going to try some marble dust. That gesso, um, Liquitex, is a bit rough, rougher than I need. I need something a bit softer. It's a bit too rough for me to get the, the little bits and pieces that I need. Anyway, I'll stop there and uh, I'll try and get this cat's eyes and uh, I don't think I'll spend too long on this one. Uh, the longest I'll spend is waiting for the colours to come that I need. Anyway, I'll stop there and uh, I'm still using Faber-Castell, they're, they're only Faber-Castell, a couple of diamond whites and I've got some uh, Charcoal, charcoal whites from uh, Raffine. Yeah, sketch. Chinese stuff, Marco. Raffines. Uh, none of them's any good for what I need. Well, they don't feel any good for me. Anyway, I'll stop there. I'm running to four minutes. Well, I'm going to call this phase two. Uh, I missed a bit of phase one. I'd already done the eyes and I do apologise for that. Um, I think this is about half, quarter times as again, as bigger than that one, just slightly bigger. Um, and, uh, oh dear. Oh. 
I dropped the petrol, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm using a carbon black Derwent pencil. It's, um, I think it's a charcoal pencil. Yeah, it's a charcoal pencil I bought. Carbo carbon black. And uh, I'm trying something new. I've got my uh, Tortillion or paper stump or whatever you want to call it. And I do like the two, the hash two one size. I prefer a hash two to all the others. I don't suppose it makes any difference what you use. It just takes you longer with a smaller one and quicker with a bigger one. But hash two suits me. It's this one here. Yeah. Hash two. And that's all I've used to get this effect so far. And uh, I don't know whether I'm going to rub out or add grey on or I'm going to see what I can do before I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about sending for some of them pencils, um, Rembrandt pencils. Uh, to do what I want to do with, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing really. I'm just following me, my sort of instincts. And I'm going to put, I'm putting the darkish colours down first, and then I'm going to put the lightish colours on top, which I normally do, which is very difficult to do with pastels. Um, anyway, we'll see, I've got no idea, I can't tell you what I'm doing really, because I'm not an expert, I don't know anything about colour wheels and colour adjustments and uh, I certainly don't, don't know anything about much about pastels, I've only just started. So, really I'm just showing you the results of what I'm doing uh, there while I'm, while I'm sort of doing them. Uh, it's Fabiano paper again and I'm using the rough side. It's 160. It's about, it's, I, I, I think it's about seven quid for ten sheets and it's uh, half a meter by about just less than half a meter I, I, I'm not quite sure about the size um, but it does take a pastel quite well it takes a pastel color quite well I don't suppose it will take much hard work you've got to be gentle with it first and then put the if you're gonna use the tortillion really you've got to use it gently because if you use it hard it will take the tooth out of the paper and uh, it'll take about five passes at least before it starts uh, succumbing to your advances with your pencil if you're not too hard. Uh, yeah, I'll stop there anyway. I'm running into three minutes again, three or four minutes. So it's just to show you what the stages I'm doing and uh, what I'm doing to get those stages. That's, it's all done with a charcoal pencil so far and uh, faber castell uh, pit pastel pencils um, and Fabriano 160 GSM paper, the grey one. They've got two or two or three I think. You get it from the internet, you get it from Amazon. Well, done a little bit more of the uh, <coughs> undercoat undercoat painting or whatever you want to call it and uh, it's done in, this is charcoal this <coughs> so I don't know whether I should finish up with white and grey acrylics at the end. I'm just thinking to myself to do the uh, to do the final <coughs> final fair and the uh, the whiskers. Well, I don't I don't like acrylic. I don't like using acrylic much. Um, it goes it either goes on in a blob for me or it goes on in a a thin weak line which is no neither of them are any use. Um, yeah I've got a long way to go yet but I'm not going to spend too long on this because it's starting to be a marathon again. I hate, <laughs> I 
I can't help myself. It usually turned out to be half an hour my useless things. But uh, that's as far as I've gone for stage three anyway. Well, part four. Um, I'm trying a few techniques, different techniques here. Um, I watched a girl on uh, YouTube doing a, two dogs, two Labradors, one black, one white, or one golden Labrador I think it was. And uh, I've never seen, I've seen good paintings before but I was really, I was really struck with this girl. I don't, I don't know what her name is. I can't forget. I can't remember her name. I think she's most likely professional. But what got me was that uh, four people had actually put on that they didn't like it, <laughs> and the things were perfect. And uh, I don't know what, I don't know what people want. I was, I was flabbergasted. If you look back at these people that put these things on, they don't like them. They're usually, um, <laughs> well, I don't want to, I don't want to be rude or anything like that. But uh, everybody's got their own taste about what they like. But I, I thought these were magnificent pictures. But uh, anyway, this is this is my bit anyway. So I usually get four bad ones and no good ones. <laughs> so, so I'm terrified about putting things on. But I'm not. No, I'm not really bothered. I don't. I don't give a monkey. I'm. I'm too old to care what people think. But I'm just doing my best and I'm enjoying it and I like to share it with other people as far as I can without filling them up with rot about colours and things like this which it, most people don't understand they just want to paint a picture and uh, yeah all I've done is add I've just added more um, more charcoal on top of charcoal and and rubbed it in with my tortilla in. and um, I put a little bit of pink into the ears flesh tone into the ears to make it um, you, I haven't got all the lights on here but uh, you'll probably see it in a, a next shot um, and I'm trying greys under greys you can just about see them on there and on his top of his paw, and then I'm going to do things with that, which I'll explain later on. Uh, and I was worried about getting uh, not as dark as this cat. No, I've gone a bit too far the other way, but it, it's about right for what I want to do because I want to. Um, I want to put some grey on uh, fair, if, uh, same as that there. And I'll, I'll put that on and see how good I get, how far I get, or whatever happens. And uh, so, people that are like me that I keep trying, don't worry about people putting things on your on your on your YouTube that say they don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter because they probably can't do it as well themselves anyway. Most of them, and people that can paint don't even watch your thing. So <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. So anyway, that's as far as I've got. And. Uh, I'll do a bit more and add it on later. I have finished. I'm, I've got a long way to go, but uh, you can see you can see what I'm trying to achieve. And uh, I seen one get this girl that did the two dogs that I was talking about. She put blue on the underneath, but I can't actually see any blue on that one, so I, I haven't put it on. I could add it now if I wanted to, but I don't see any blue. There's no blue in that at all. There's no. Although it's called the British Blue, it's, it's <sighs> anyway. I'll stop there. The only thing I could think of when I was thinking of British Blue is that the eyes are orange, and the colour for um, the the um, complementary colour for that is blue, isn't it? Blue, violet, and blue. So that's the only thing I can think of. If I put a blue background on that, it would go. It would go well. So that's it, as far as I understand about complementary colours, um, which would make it look quite nice. In some cases, it doesn't look nice, but uh, if it's if it's if it's done delicately and uh, added added uh, in little bits and pieces, it it can be quite nice. 
Um, uh, I'm determined, I think, to put a background on this one. I, I do, I do tend to forget them because I'm frightened to mess things up. I don't normally do backgrounds, but I'll try and do a background. I won't swear I will, but I'll try and do one. It depends if I get fed up. If I get fed up, you won't see a background. Anyway, I'll stop. Well, this is part five again. Oh, can it be again? It's part five. It's the first time. <laughs> um, I'm attempting to put the the greys on now. I'm fiddling about with greys. I just keep working it and working it and working it until I get uh, what I want. And this is just the start of it. Um, some parts look a bit hard and some parts look a bit soft. Um, so what I'm going to do is just just keep working at it and see what comes. I want to get as close to that one as I can. Uh, I'm still like a bull in a china shop. There's something wrong with that eye. I can't. I can't quite figure it, I don't know what it is. Oh man. Yeah, you can see that pink now, the pink in the ears. I said I'd show you it, I can see it through the camera lens, or through the, the side that's uh, showing me the picture of what you look at. Um, so, I've, I've added... Um, These are my pencil colours I've been using. I've got my Daywent back now, my Daywent uh, electronic rubber, that's very handy. And my little brush. Uh, yeah, these are the pencils I've been using. Uh, white, a couple of greys, um, browns, blacks. Subdued colours mainly. Um, anyway, I'll keep working at it. This, I mean, this is not going to be the last stage. I'm not even close yet. It looks good through the lens, but it doesn't look good as I'm looking at it. <laughs> it looks crap. <laughs> oh dear. It looks alright through the lens for some reason. I don't know why. The lens must be hiding a lot of things. Anyway, I shall stop there and uh, put this down as part five, and we shall carry on. Well, I think I'll call that a day. Uh, I suppose there's a lot more I can do. Uh, I just... I can keep adding and adding and adding, and if I keep adding, I'll probably start subtracting. So I'll finish there. I don't, I don't know what else to do anyway. Um, yeah, <coughs> and I still haven't done the background. <coughs> still haven't done the background. Yeah. I'll have a quick look around it and uh, I'm still trying to get realism and I'm, it's still escaping me. I think I've got it and then it eludes me. I was watching a guy the other day on YouTube doing extra little bits to drawings. And he had the guy's actual drawing and he put the, he corrected it and it looked, it looked terrific after. <laughs> I, should, I should send him these, it'd be a fortnight. <laughs> Fortnite working it all out. <clears throat> what he could do right. <laughs> Put it right. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop there and hope somebody's enjoyed it. We're not all we're not all fully fledged artists. We're not all super duper men. There's only a few good artists. But if you enjoy it, you enjoy it and that's the main thing. Anyway, I'll stop there and release you. <laughs> Thank you.